Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this box pleat card. So as you can see at the bottom, the paper is box pleated. Um, this was made using the West Design Products Bluebirds and Roses um, paper pad. So I use the papers and I use the embellishments. And this was a ribbon from my stash and some gems from my stash as well. So we're going to go ahead and show you what you need to make this card. So you are going to need a 6x6 six six card blank. Now this card is not actually 6x6. Six six. This one is 5 and, well, just over 5 and 3 quarters. And um, the envelopes are 6x6. Six six. So that's fine. You can use that. So I'm going to use, all my measurements are based on that. I mean, if you've got a 6x6, six six, all it'll mean is that you'll have a slightly bigger border around the outside here because as you can see that's a very slim border and that's why because the card's so not quite six by six so you will also need a piece of um colored matte card that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters well no a bit under than that it, it's, it's you'd have to measure if you're using a six by six card then you need the mat to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters mine is slightly smaller just to accommodate that now as you can see i've cut you, you, just, you just want a plain mat i've just cut some hex pins out of this to use on another project because i didn't want to waste all of that glitter card because your next panel is five and a half so if you think i'm literally only seeing that very edge of the glitter and i just thought that's a massive waste to waste all of that underneath there that's been covered up so i've gone ahead and cut a whole load of hexagons out okay but obviously you just need a square um so yes yeah, so this square is five and a half by five and a half that does need to be five and a half by five and a half no matter what size card you have well for this card anyway you also need a piece of pattern paper that is three inches by ten and three quarters and I would probably go for it's up to you but for mine I've done for quite a busy one and then the, the other piece that I need um, is three inches by five and a half and I've gone for a slightly plainer pattern for this one okay so let's start by sticking the pattern panel down to the front of your card now I'm going to turn my card around so it's like a tent card this one, the other one, I didn't do that. And the problem is I, I ended up with it sort of falling forward the whole time because the front's quite heavy. So I'm going to turn it around so it's a tent card. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this down. OK, so there you go. I've stuck my card base down. As you can see, it's a very, very thin edge of white. Right, put that to one side for now. Um, and this card as well, you can put to one side. What you need next is your pattern paper. You will also need your scoreboard. Right, so you need to score this at three quarters and at one inch, at one and three quarters and two inches, at two and three quarters and three inches, at three and three quarters and four inches, at four and three quarters and five inches. at five and three quarters and six inches, six and three quarter and seven inches, seven and three quarter and eight inches, eight and three quarter and nine inches, nine and three quarter and ten inches. And that's all your scoring done. And it's a lot of scoring, but it's not too bad, it's quite a, you get quite a rhythm going. 
Now, I'm going to start from, I don't think it actually matters which end you start from, but I'm going to start from my left and I'm going to start scoring, so folding. So you start off with a mountain fold and you need, what I would advise, you could turn it over and just make sure that it's straight along here because otherwise you could end up with a bit of a problem. So the first one is a mountain. The next one is going to be a valley. So we're going to fold it pattern side in. And again, try and make sure that's not completely straight. Try and make sure that you get it completely bang on. The next line across is also a valley. So we fold that in. Like that. The next one is a mountain. You're basically going mountain, valley, valley, mountain, all the way along. So that gives you the first box pleat. Okay, so we're going to keep doing that all the way along. So I'm now going to go mountain, valley, valley, mountain. Right, so that's scored all the way along. So now we're just gonna put them into place and crease them down. Give them a good burnish. So you should end up with that. Okay, so next what you want to do is you're going to stick that down. Well, you're going to stick that in a minute. You're going to stick that down onto your white panel. But to start with, we're just going to stick the plain piece at the top on your panel. Okay, so that's your panel stuck down. Now you need to get some red tape. And by red tape I mean this red liner tape. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your panel and that's going to be stuck there. So, on this one, as you can see, it's not stuck flush to the top, the ribbon. Okay, there's a bit of a gap at the top. So what you want to do is you want to stick your tape about where your ribbon's going to be. So then this is sort of free, like that end, that end is. Okay, so what you want to do, if I put this on here, is I'm going to put my tape so it lines up with the bottom of that panel. Now, I've taken the liner off, so you now have to be very careful. You're going to take your panel, you're going to hold most of it off, away from the stick, and you're going to line up the bottom of your panel with the bottom of your card. And you're going to make sure you press it down so that the folds are flat in, into place. And you're going to stick it down onto the card.
you end up with an excess like I have here, you can just trim that off. So next you want to take some ribbon and I've gone for a ribbon that is about half an inch wide. And that ribbon is going to go round the centre of your card, as you can see there. I'm going to stick that down with red tape as well because I find that ribbon tends to pop off if you don't use red tape. So as you can see, I've got a bit of the, of the fold popping out the top and obviously the fold at the bottom. Now because my tape is going all the way round, and I've got sticky bits at the back and it's red tape, I don't want that to get stuck onto my work mat. So I'm just using a bit of roll of tape to balance my card on so nothing gets stuck. So we're now going to stick the ribbon on. So next I'm going to take a bow maker and I'm going to make a bow that will go on the side here. So as you can probably see if you haven't used a bow maker before, I'm just going to quickly show you how I do a bow. So I've got these thin prongs here and the thick prongs. I'm going in between the thin and the thick one here and the same here. Then I'm going to fold this over and I want this piece to be the shorter piece. I'm just going to pull that a bit smaller. This piece is going to go down the middle, round the here, through that hole, and then I'm going to tie a knot. Like that. I'm now going to slide the whole thing off. And that will give us our bow. Before I put it on, I'm just going to trim the, um, the tails.
and I'm now going to go ahead and stick it down.